Heat stress may be mild enough to just make us uncomfortable, but it can very quickly become serious, even fatal. Every year, 4,000 Americans die of heat stroke, the most dangerous form of heat illness. Heat stress is a problem in hot weather or in hot confined spaces. It can also develop in mild weather, when workers wear personal protective equipment that interferes with the body's ability to cool itself by sweating. While I was in the, the steam drum, I had this artificial sense of, of well-being with the, the cool supplied air coming in on, the, on my head. And that was part of the problem. My head felt like everything was OK, but the rest of my body was gradually heating up. I was quite surprised that it happened to me. Uh, I was always healthy, always felt good, and never had any problems whatsoever until that day. I was on a hazmat job on a wide beach project. And uh, we were in Tyvek, pretty well suited up, respirators, and I was working on this machine. And on the deck, it was 90 degrees. I was working about two hours. I started feeling a little sick to my stomach, started getting a bad headache, legs started to cramp. And it kind of snuck up on me slow, but then all of a sudden, I felt that it was pretty hard. One of the first signs of heat stress is often painful cramping in leg or abdominal muscles. Heat cramps are a warning that your body is starting to have trouble handling the heat you need to cool down. Heat cramps can progress to heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion develops when the body begins to lose its ability to get rid of the heat building up inside. Workers should know the symptoms of heat exhaustion and learn to recognize those signs in themselves and their buddies. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just looking around. Your color's just a little off. Huh? A worker with heat exhaustion sweats heavily, has pale skin, and may experience nausea or vomiting. Body temperature may rise to 103 degrees. The worker may faint, but is usually conscious. Heat exhaustion can cause loss of mental alertness, a serious problem when you're operating heavy equipment. If not treated, heat exhaustion can progress to heat stroke. I was on a job, and um, I'm operating the backhoe. Well, it happened to be on a very hot July day, and um, mid-90s in late morning. And during coffee break, the loader operator hadn't come down to the area, which we normally did, uh, to take his coffee break. And I thought that unusual. At lunchtime, again, he didn't stop. Well, at that point, I, I became a little leery of what was going on. So I asked someone else to come over to the area with me. And we did. And I actually couldn't make any eye contact. So we finally... We were able to get his attention. We brought him off the machine. And it was apparent at that that he, he was totally out of character. He was acting not in a way that we had ever seen him act before. And that is typical of heat stress. And I feel that had we not intervened at that point, we may have lost him. But luckily enough, we managed to get him medical attention. An ambulance came. And he did suffer from heat stroke, but he did recover. Heat stroke occurs when the body's heat control system breaks down. A person with heat stroke stops sweating, has red skin, and is unconscious or partially conscious. Body temperature is over 103 degrees. The body is like a pressure cooker. Organs like the brain, liver, or kidneys can be permanently damaged by the high temperature. Heat stroke is immediately life-threatening. When heat stress is likely to be a problem, drink plenty of water before you feel like you need it. Once you become dehydrated, it is difficult to adequately rehydrate yourself. I became a football official, and uh, starting out mostly midget, midget league and junior high games, which started at one in the afternoon, pretty much stopped the hottest time of the day. I had been out a little late the night before, and being a, a safety trainer, I should have known that uh, that wasn't the right thing to do with so much exercise coming the following day. I didn't hydrate properly in the morning. By the time I had a chance to take a drink of water, it, I'd already been running around and running after these, these little midget league characters, and uh, I, w I could tell I was getting dehydrated. So uh, I did something that you really shouldn't do, and then as I consumed about a quart, 32 ounces of water, and I mean, I drank it down all at one time. 
Next thing I knew, I was throwing up profusely. I had advanced heat stress. My abdominal cramps were so severe that I, I was actually bent over. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it, and my calves were like knots. During the 1967 war, the war in the Middle East, the Israelis used the overdrink method, four to six gallons of water a day. They never lost a man to heat prostration. The Egyptians, and Palestinians, and other forces who were against Israel lost up to 20 percent. Now, I know that most operating engineers do not work in a desert environment, but in the summertime, when the temperatures run 90, 95 degrees, humidity is running about 90, 95 percent, if you do not drink water, you're not going to last. When work involves heat stress conditions, employers should have a heat stress plan they should educate workers on what they can do to protect themselves. Workers should be allowed to become acclimated to the heat gradually and to take sufficient rest breaks. And a lot of foremen out there, they want you to go, go, go. You need to slow down your pace. Drink your water, take your time, and be safe. It makes you think twice. It makes you keep an eye on your brother because uh, it's a serious stuff, real serious stuff. Remember the differences between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. In heat exhaustion, there is heavy sweating, the skin is pale, the worker is usually conscious, and body temperature may rise up to 103 degrees. If not treated, heat exhaustion can progress to heat stroke. In heat stroke, sweating has stopped, the skin is red, and the worker is usually unconscious or partly conscious body's temperature is over 103 degrees. Remember, heat stroke is immediately life-threatening. Heat stress is a known killer and should be taken seriously. Learn the symptoms, drink water frequently, avoid alcohol and caffeine. You'll be able to work more efficiently and go home healthy at the end of the day.